there. It is SL Narasimhan again from Ignite Insight. Today I'm going to be talking about reading. We all read books all the time. Some of us like fiction, some of us like mystery novels, while some of us read self-improvement books, philosophy, psychology. Our tastes and our preferences are as varied as we are. When it comes to reading non-fiction books, however, there's a big difference. Fiction books are basically stories that we read and we either feel good about it or we don't like the story. It kind of ends there. In the case of non-fiction and in particular self-help or self-improvement books, it's very different. Because in a way, we are reading to improve ourselves, to make ourselves better. Do we make ourselves better after reading? Because the way you read a non-fiction or a self-help book is very different from the way you read fiction. A self-help book or a self-improvement book is actually, in most cases, consisting of tools, techniques, tips, ideas, suggestions, thoughts, musings, which hopefully provoke thought in us. For example, if you pick up Zig Ziglar's See You at the Top Goal Setting book, Mr. Ziglar takes you through hundreds of steps so that you become effective in goal setting. In this scenario, how does reading such a book go? Well, in most instances, you would first skim through the book and try to generate some ideas, not so much the steps, but the ideas. For instance, in Mr. Ziegler's book, he talks about forming habits. Now, forming habits is an idea first. He says goal setting is something that we must make a daily habit. Well, that's a thought. How do we actually go about doing that? It's much later. In these kind of self-help books, the idea is first digested by us. And then once we buy into that, we begin to explore how we may apply that idea in our own lives. The biggest payoff from reading self-help books is when you apply the principles. If you just read it once or twice and then forget about it, nothing is going to change in your life. For quite some time, over the last 10 years, I've been reading self-improvement books. And one of my goals in actually reading the self-help book is to pick up an idea and apply it to my circumstance. Could be my business, could be personal, could be anything. I have found tremendous, tremendous benefits by committing to this. In this short video, all I am saying is when next you read a self-help or a self-improvement book, pick up one idea and make a commitment to apply it to your life. Very soon you will come to realize that you have been applying so many of these ideas to your own business or personal situation and are making incremental improvements towards your success. Go on. Read that book on self-help. 
and embrace that idea. Good luck, great success and see you soon.